One of the Schaumburg Park District's most popular programs is the Parties Here. TPH, as it's more commonly referred to, is a safe, supervised, action-packed program held on the first Friday of each month for 7th and 8th grade students of School District 54 and area parochial schools. Unbeknownst to the casual observer, TPH is more than just teens overtaking the Community Recreation Center once a month. A tremendous amount of time and planning and work goes into each and every TPH event. Work for TPH starts months in advance with theme planning and reservation of space. Additionally, there's work on participants' end, as each and every team must have a pass slash ID the day of the event. There is no day of registration. Once the big day finally arrives, manager of the Meineke Recreation Center and supervisor of TPH, Carrie Sperling, starts the day at 10 a.m. The first step is purchasing the food and beverages for the night. Let's talk to Carrie to find a little bit more about this. Uh, we just got done shopping for TPH. We start here at Jewel. Um, we get some stuff here. Obviously, as you can see, Pop. And we have the parks guys who are nice enough to come out and help us because we get so much on a TPH Friday. So they're here helping us load stuff. Um, and then we're going to be on to Sam's and we get all the rest of our goodies. And then we pack that up and then we head back to CRC. So there are months that we get more than others today. It's kind of like a moderate amount of pop and stuff that we're getting. So it takes a lot to feed 700 kids. <laughs> so there we go. Perfect. With all the food and drink purchased, the setup of the facility is next. Signs are hung to exhibit the activity in each location of the CRC. While Carrie fills up balloons, her assistant Dave helps in the process by designating where the signs go. Heading down to the other yeah. side. Yeah. Big TPH night. Yeah. Big TPH night. These are festive balloons for Valentine's Day. How many balloons do you have to blow up? Usually we blow up about 30 to 40. And then at the end of the night, we give them out. And a lot of times the kids' siblings will, will come, like a lot of the young ones, and we let them take them home and they get a kick out of that. So. Very good. There you go. Showtime, it's Friday night. Although TPH technically doesn't start until 7 p.m., participants arrive early and check-in begins. TPH requires participants to be signed in and out by their parent or guardian. Teens are not allowed to enter or leave the facility unless escorted by their parent or guardian. Once their ID is scanned, they head to the check-in where parents sign them in and out, and each participant gets their hand stamped. The same process will be repeated later in the night at the end of the event. The Parties Here features a number of activities, including dancing, dodgeball, volleyball, pop a shot, board games, table tennis, jewelry and bead making, arts and crafts, Wii and video games, and more. A live DJ is always present to entertain the masses. Once again, white line, please.
At the conclusion of the evening, children are checked out by their parent or guardian and cleanup begins. A majority of the work is done by support staff later in the evening, but all the supplies, games, etc. must be put away and stored until the next TPH. A day that started around 10 a.m. finally concludes around 11 p.m.